Hello, 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 welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and in this React and Node.js project video, we will learn how we can make login API. So, let's start with the points of uh, this video. So, first of all, we will uh, make our API route, then we will send email address and password from Postman and uh, get this email and password in uh, Node.js and match with the database. And uh, we will remove password from uh, API response uh, or login as well as with the registration API also because uh, in recent time when I created that uh, uh, registration API I forgot to remove the password so we will remove password from both of these APIs because uh, password in API response is not a good practice you can say that this is a security concern also and uh, at the last we will test this complete flow everything is working fine or not so now let's uh, start with the first point and create a route for API. So I am just making a again post route app dot post and what we can do here we can just make a route with the same name like login and the second parameter will be a callback function it have two parameters uh, request and response right and for a moment that we can check that everything is working or, or not so i am just sending the same data whatever i am getting in the uh, uh, this request body so i am just sending here request dot body right so what is request dot body and uh, how we can uh, configuration with the database and what is how we can define the model and schemas for database all videos are already created link is given in the description box for complete playlist if you want to watch these videos link is given in the description box as i told you you can watch that right so now let's see what we are getting in the response and with that way we can check that our route is fine or not so let's select here post method then provide the api url so 5000 and then we can just make here login route and we got error why so for that we need to check uh, what's wrong with that mm -mm. yes actually we did not send any body to it so let me just send some data in the body so just select a post and here i am sending x is a key and let's say y is its value so whenever i'm just sending it you can see that we are getting the same value whatever we are sending to it so now let's try to send here email address and password email uh, let's say anil at the rate test.com this is a registered user in our database you can check that right anil at the rate test and now let's add here password also mm. password is abc at the rate one two three and whenever i am sending i am getting the same as a response that means everything is working fine so now let's get this result from database okay so what we need to do here we need, just need a user let and uh, as you know user is our uh, model for uh, uh, user table i can show you here right and uh, if you want to watch this video as i already told you many time link is given in the description box because some guys just ask that uh, you already created that uh, uh, model and uh, database configuration how we can understand that previous Thing. that's why i just telling you again and again where you can get this old videos right so just simply put here user dot find so this is the method in uh, mongoose that uh, that can just get the data from database but when we just need to find here only one result that time we can use here one and let's simply pass here request dot body inside it right okay so and uh, this is basically a async operation so i am using here async and await keyword now let's uh, simply 
uh, send response dot send data we can simply send here user and now you will find that everything is working fine whenever i'm just sending it we are getting id name email and password but as i told you password is not required here because this is a security concern also because we already know what is our password so why we need to just send it back right so what we can do here we can simply use here dot select method and here we can put here minus and our field name our field name is password right and now let's check what we are getting here we are getting all other fields rather than password that's great all right uh, now uh, maybe there is a chance that we don't have any result so let's say i am just sending here wrong email address or wrong password like this so we don't have any result but our api response is empty but we should handle it right otherwise front end developer never know that what's actually happening so what we can do here we can check here if user is present then we can send response dot send else we can simply put here we don't need this this one we can just simply put here result no user found or something now let's check what we are getting it here it's taking too much time this is a is there any error yep we have to make it as a object even we don't uh, need this result as a string now we can see that there is a no result and if we have result okay then we got that right that's great but still there is a bug bug is that if i am just remove the this password we can still find the result because we just check that if uh, just check according to the bodies right that's why if just if we just remove that password it will still work fine so we cannot compromise with with these kind of bugs so what we can do here we can simply check if request dot body dot password and and there must be and right and email is present that time we can just give this result otherwise we can just use your else condition and in else we can just say that no user found or any message whatever you want to send let me just format this right now if i am sending this data uh, without password you will find that there is a no result and if i am just sending your email and password then we got the perf okay it, uh, it it it's again showing that there is no result so let me check okay so i just need to fix this spelling now it's giving the fine result right so with that way we can just make it a little bit more secure and uh, now uh, let's go with the sign up api right because we have to remove the password from here also i have a user which is harman if i'm just sending it you can see that as a back i'm getting the password also but this should not be there same as our login api so how we can remove it can i simply put here like minus password or minus field name the answer is no the reason is it will work only whenever we are using find or find result find one result right it will not work with the save so how we can resolve it so for that we can just create it object from this right so just me put here let me put here result dot to object and after that what we can do here we can simply say that delete result dot password and now let's see what we are getting here 
okay this is the login that one is basically for sign up we don't have any password right so with that way we can just remove the password from registration api also now we have one more bug i can show you in the database with the same result with the same password with the same name uh, okay just let me <laughs> refresh it first with the same uh, name email and password we have the two rows here you can see that duplicate result but now whenever i will log in that which one user will be log in from here so it should not be possible that uh, same email address cannot be carried out by the two results so in the upcoming video we will fix this bug also right but uh, because as we know in single video we cannot learn everything so that's why i am not going to add in this video otherwise this video will gonna very lengthy and please guys um thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please support me by like this video comment on video and subscribe my channel thank you so much